Um, I can't believe we're living this again. Again. What, three weeks later, we're living this again. As Hurricane Michael nears landfall, we are working with state and local officials in Florida to take all necessary precautions, and we urge all residents to be prepared and to heed local officials. I told Rick Scott that we are ready for you. Uh, we have already briefed FEMA, and FEMA's getting prepared, and it looks like a big one. Can you believe it? It looks like another big one, but we've handled them well. We've handled them very well, and that includes the one that just left us in Florida. Never ends, but we're all prepared, and hopefully it won't be as bad as it's looking. It looked to me, looked uh, a couple of days ago like it was not going to be much, and now it's looking like it could be a very big one, so we're prepared, and good luck. Okay, um, well, I to add to he heed local officials. I really feel like they are priming Americans to heed their local officials. And this guy is setting you up to make you believe that he's on it and he's going to protect you. And he is doing everything in his power to protect you. And that, that, um, my next video, I'm going to be going through some QAnon information, some information that I have gathered from other videos. Something is not right. Now, what's not right are these monstrous, oh yes, Rick Scott calls it a monstrous hurricane. Category 3 by the time it gets to the panhandle of Florida. States of emergency, of course, in Florida and Alabama. Mandatory evacuations, a whole lot of them, which you will see. But um, we know, we know that this is a manufacturing of another storm. What we don't know is how bad it's going to be. But, of course, you can see all of the geoengineering taking place in this storm. I have been looking at the satellites and radar uh, throughout the day, and you can see the geoengineering right there, all of the lines, the crisscrossing lines. All right, we know it. A whole lot of people just don't care to know it. Um, what is really fascinating is that they don't even have the curiosity. They, it's like Americans don't have any curiosity. And I'm saying that because I was outside and I was talking to some neighbors and I said, well, do you know anything about weather modification? Man controlling weather? No. Got in a couple of sentences, but that was it. A look like, well, I don't care. I'm going back to my phone. Look how evenly defined are the lines. All right, I'm not going to go through that again. Um, but I also got to go, look at this thing. What the hell is this thing? I, you know, let's see if we can. All right, this is where this is going. All right, it, Alabama has declared a state of emergency. Maybe just for those counties right there in Alabama. Uh, no doubt Georgia, probably South Carolina, probably North Carolina. They're all going to climb on board. States of emergency. Um, I got a comment from a subscriber who is in Ireland. Ireland. She said a massive storm that they've called for flooding uh, in the UK. It wasn't just from Ireland, also a subscriber from the UK. 
Well, look at all of the geoengineering that you've got going here. You are being so saturated with chemicals and heavy metals, toxic, toxic substances put into the atmosphere for you to breathe, for them to make weather. Uh, but she also said, the one from Ireland said that something about Leslie is going to be coming after that storm. Well, Leslie seems to have been recalled. She's been recalled. More, or what? I don't know. Leslie, you're still hanging out in the same place. You must like this area of the Atlantic Ocean. All right, well, earlier today, it was going back to Africa. Now, it looks like it's heading for Spain or Portugal. Um, but look at the tracking of this, Leslie. Well, where'd you start? Let's see. I think you started right smack in the middle of... Yeah. You started where you've been hanging out for about a month. And this tracking. Whoa, man, Leslie. You are one hell of a confused hurricane. Hurricane. So you're going all over the place and now you're going back up. Okay, so I'm now going to go right back ahead, <laughs> right to where I started. But then I'm going to go down and I'm going to go on and hit Portugal. Or maybe my subscriber was right. Maybe the tracking will just change a little bit and go right on into Ireland. Hurricane Sergio. Well, Arizona, it doesn't look like uh, Sergio, which clearly has not moved, hasn't moved, but the tracking has moved because last night it was heading towards Arizona, New Mexico. Now, New Mexico, and is it still the same tracking? Level land in, yeah. Texas. And Texas has been having flash flooding that occurred in Amarillo, I believe. So, if you look at Sergio, you can see how man-made this, this guy is. Um, I can't watch the channels that report on the weather. Uh, known channels. Very, very big channels because I can't listen to them report on the weather and not mention that all of this is being deliberately manufactured by man and the chaos that this stuff creates. People do suffer the consequences. Uh, sorry, it's... Uh, I just jumped myself off there. Um, people do suffer the consequences, but with the last hurricane, Rosa, they, mainstream media, government officials were claiming that you were going to, like, be floating away states, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, Idaho, yeah, remnants, 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 I keep saying remnants, remnants of Rosa even when Rosa hadn't hit Arizona yet you were getting rain they were calling it remnants okay that's unusual because remnants is what's left over not what is um, just beginning but based on the comments that I have received from many in Arizona, some in New Mexico, a few in Colorado, Utah, and Idaho. You didn't get hardly anything. You got in a few areas in Arizona what was referred to as uh, late monsoon rains. 
But as you can see, the geoengineering is widespread. Widespread. And what was great about Mother Nature? The meteorologist could predict what was going to happen. Now the predictions are so off, just here in South Carolina, we get possible hurricane almost every day because they don't know. And they're so often wrong. So I don't know what to tell you, but you know, you should never take lightly uh, these events just because Florence, Rosa, Irma, despite what your mainstream media and government officials are saying, it was not as bad as you heard reported. Does that mean that that's going to be the same for Michael and Sergio? Uh, we, we don't know. We just don't know. But I have to tell you, listening to these reports and listening to this guy, I don't know what the hell is going on, but something is. Earlier today, you see this shot, this laser shot, right into Michael, coming out of Alabama, right here. Okay, well, we know that they can... Uh, manipulate, modify, steer storms with uh, frequencies. This laser shot coming out of North Carolina has been going on all day long. We've got the ultra low frequencies and my hunch is that we're going to see them rather uh, well all hands on deck later on tonight. So what you are looking at on radar, look at how defined right here it becomes. Oh, once that laser hits it, becomes very defined. Now this is not how Mother Nature works. This is not how weather works. So it's an indication that man is controlling this storm. But you all already look like uh, you all in the panhandle are already getting pretty heavy storms. Spotty, but all of that red, that means that that's pretty heavy. But most of it is light. Well, you see all of the, it looks like a saw, the sawtooth edges, frequencies, but of course Texas, well, Houston, I don't know how there are people still living there because, well, <laughs> I'm still living and we get massive, extremely low frequencies being set off 24-7 that come into my area. Um, the frequencies going on. Oh boy, guys, you know, Governor Scott, I'll link below uh, for my Floridian subscribers if you want to listen to this, but this guy, you know, well, monstrous. Michael is a monstrous hurricane. And, well, Mainstream media is on it. Tonight, a state of emergency in Alabama and along Florida's west coast. Residents bumper to bumper, trying to escape before Hurricane Michael makes landfall. Hurricane Michael is a monstrous storm, and the forecast gets, keeps getting more dangerous. Supplies and gas already on high demand. I'm gassing up to make sure I can get home. Satellite photos reveal the fast-moving hurricane taking shape, with the edges of the growing storm drenching the far western edges of Cuba. Emergency managers in low-lying Gulf County, Florida, taking no chances, ordering a mandatory evacuation. Uh, we're 
going to get to the point where all we do is fill sandbags. Governors of Florida and Alabama have declared states of emergency in advance of Michael. Omar Villafranca is in Panama City, which is quickly emptying out. Traffic slowed to a crawl on this coastal highway in Panama City Beach. Many trying to heed Florida Governor Rick Scott's warning to get out now before it's too late. Hurricane. You know, I can't even look at these people anymore. They are so unbelievably disgusting, despicable, and yeah, you know, subhuman. They are not regular, ordinary human beings. You think these, these people don't know that all of this is manufactured by man? They certainly do. Less than 24 hours after Governor Rick Scott declared a state of emergency in... Fill those sandbags. Fill those sandbags. Get the plywood. Get your milk. Get your coffee. No, don't get your coffee. Because you have to evacuate. So... Uh, gas up. Buy the generators. You know... This continues because the majority of Americans refuse to look into weather modification and geoengineering. And we have an awful lot of quote unquote YouTubers, too many YouTubers who never mention weather modification and geoengineering. And, you know, some I liked, uh, and now I find them to be really. Uh, something is very wrong with them. I'm sorry. There just is. Governor Scott issues updates on Hurricane Michael. So, the states of emergency called for 35 counties, watches and warnings. I'll link below to this, but evacuations. Look at these evacuations. Um, the whole county, Bay County, Zones A, B, and C. Residents living in these areas should evacuate before 6 a.m. tomorrow. Franklin County, mandatory evacuation, has been issued for all non-residents. What non-residents? Why only for non-residents? Can anybody explain that to me? Um, Gulf County, mandatory evacuation for the following areas. Cape San Blas, uh, Indian Pass area, Simmons Bayou, Highland View, Widmark, the city of Port St. Joe, all areas from St. Joseph Bay to Long Avenue. Hernando County, voluntary. Leon County, voluntary. Liberty. Santa Rosa, voluntary, military support, of course. Well, he's got 5,500 soldiers and airmen, airmen who are on standby, standby, sorry, uh, 1,250 activated. They're bringing in 1,000 high water vehicles, 13 helicopters, 16 boats, missions to include Humanitarian, humanitarian assistance, security operations, search and rescue. In addition, they can bring in 30,000 personnel from other states. Doesn't this seem like a drill? It does to me. But this, here we go again. Uh, the military. Oh, that was on um, Rick Scott's state of emergency. It's the letter to Trump. Hey, we need help. We need direct assistance right now. So Trump is on it. But information describing other federal agency efforts and resources which have been or will be used in responding to this incident, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, U.S. Coast Guard, Federal Highway Administration, the EPA, Department of Health and Human Services, Department of Homeland Security, and Department of Defense. Our country 
is not the United States of America anymore. It's gone. We have had a federal usurpation of all states. National Guard was uh, brought into the Coast Guard, the Army, and that we have now with these weather events the Department of Defense, Homeland Security, uh, the Army, the Coast Guard, well the Coast Guard would always be involved, but Department of Defense. All right, um, something, I guess Americans just don't really care. I was sent this by a subscriber. I don't even know what this is. Hypothetical Hurricanes Wiki. When was this posted? The hypothetical is um, the name Hurricane Michael. But I cannot see seven days ago is a comment. But I don't know when this was actually posted. So Hurricane Michael was the very first Category 6 to ever hit the Atlantic. It was the most intense hurricane ever recorded, the most intense hurricane to hit the United States, the most expensive, deadly hurricane ever, the largest hurricane in diameter. Uh, they go through 15th Tropical Depression. It was the 15th Tropical Depression, the 13th named storm, first hurricane, first major hurricane, of 2018, causing widespread shock, devastation, fatalities across the Atlantic and Gulf Coast. You can read more of this, but um, it does seem a little weird that we have this posted here. And all of the states that got affected by Michael, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, and Cuba. Okie dokie. Well, I'll link below to everything. Um, it really is unfortunate that now, yeah, you always do have to prepare for the worst because you don't know what they're going to be bringing you. But I wouldn't freak out. Just prepare the best you can and just uh, know that Trump is on it, okay? He's on it. And heed your local officials. Because, hey guys, you trust Trump, right? 